Okay, so after that last tester coil failure, I have decided to turn to drink. Now, just kidding. Sunny Coke and J2O. So while you stare at my shamefully messy bench, I'm going to go over my ideas for future tester coils. But first, I would just like to say thank you for all of you who commented in with your suggestions and your support and has re-sparked, if you'll excuse the pun, my interest in making another plasma flame generator. It's just infuriating how that last one didn't work when in the past I've managed to get at least something like this and this and if I can find the clip, this as well. So it shows I'm not a complete loser and some of it does actually work. And um, I've come up with my own circuit, which I'm going to show you right now. So this is a design that I've come up with all by myself, with a little bit of inspiration from other circuits, obviously. So we have a GU50 tube and just one coil. This is one continuous winding, one continuous 100 turn winding, which I've tapped in the middle there. So you see 50 and 50. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to have taps at like every two turns or so, maybe every 10 turns, and find that sweet spot of, you know, like the turns ratio. So how this circuit works is by feedback. So it's got a little antenna here positioned near the breakout point, and that's connected straight up to the control grid of the tube. And I can adjust how much feedback the tube gets with these two resistors here. So. I can adjust it so it doesn't get too much feedback or too little feedback. I can get it in the Goldilocks zone where it's just right. So I'm going to try a few different configurations like this one here where all three grids are connected in parallel so the tube is running in triode configuration. And I also might try this one here that's pretty much identical except the grid 3 is connected to the cathode. So that will eliminate the need for this capacitor and this resistor, so reducing the component count and who knows, it might even work even better. And this is another design. It's a bit like that one that didn't work, except I've made a few modifications. So again, we have antenna feedback and of course these resistors to adjust how much feedback the tube gets. But the really interesting thing here is on the choke coil, I'm going to have a ferrite core that I can move in and out so I can adjust the inductance and I think that's really going to help. Now these are experimental circuits, they're not the final design, these are just experiments that I want to try. I also want to do the flame generator that Tested 2 Destruction did, a little shout out there. Now one of you suggested that I should try a ZVS circuit with tubes. Now, that sounds like a very interesting project and I think these two tubes here gonna really work well for that they really look the business so that's gonna be an interesting thing to try now going on to transistor circuits I want to try and design my own class E circuit so this is one of the designs I've come up with so we have a MOSFET and a choke a primary a capacitor and secondary and what I can do with this is I can adjust this so I can adjust the inductance and hopefully adjust the frequency that the circuit resonates at I might also put an, adju an adjustable capacitor here because we're not going to get such high voltages across the MOSFET. There is one thing I am a little bit concerned about because when this coil is energized and then it's disenergized, there's going to be a huge voltage across this coil. It's going to be like I've connected a high voltage battery with its negative here and its positive here and that's going to go through the MOSFET's diode and possibly blow it so I want to put another diode right there and of course I might even try a variable capacitor in parallel with that one and see how well that works I might even try it without the capacitor at all and see how well that works and another thing I want to investigate is snubbers I want to investigate um, so this is a typical Tesla core you know output stage and I want to investigate which of these is going to work best? And I want to investigate whether it's better to place them across the transistor or across the coil. Anyway, that's all going to be in the future. You see, I want to get back to... with a little... Holy crap! And some of... Oh yeah! 
and maybe even a little bit of It's a high frequency Tesla coil. And of course, plenty of <laughs> So yeah, that's it for now, so I'll see you next time at the workbench. And until next time, goodbye.